Tootie Fruity, oh Rudy. Tootie Fruity, oh Rudy. <laughs> Tootie Fruity, Tootie Raw. Tootie Fruity gets arrested, man. Is he gonna learn his lesson? No. It's gonna take a few times, a few more times for Tootie Raw to get arrested before he actually takes this breaking the law thing serious or this being locked up in jail thing serious. And I don't think Boosie is helping the situation because the code he stands on, he has to appease the streets. He has to speak and act on behalf of the streets. <clears throat> And Tootie Raw is basically a Boosie clone. He is he acts exactly like his dad. He got the same hairstyle. You know. He doing he's smoking. Riding around with a gun, <laughs> apparently. And you know this is putting more pressure on Boosie now. Now Boosie's gonna have to come on with it. Now Boosie's gonna have to do something strange for a little piece of change just to keep his son free and to keep his uh, brand and his image still up to par and relevant because Boosie has been like I don't want to say under the radar but he's been that guy that has been like at the cusp like he's not as rich as a lot of regular celebrities or your typical rappers and stuff like that because everything he's getting is pretty much from the mud. He depends on the street to support him, to uh, go to his concert so he can make his money. Uh, I think Boosie is making more money in his concerts and you know showing up to clubs and stuff like that, getting club money versus uh, his albums, you know, his songs. I don't think he really, really getting rid of a lot of money. I don't think he's really getting a lot of money from... Uh, his records. I don't think his numbers is, is matching his money, but I think when he, the fact that he travels and he goes to all these local places, clubs, hits a concert, collaborates with some other artists, or he's featured with other artists, I think that helps him a whole lot. But if Tootie Raw don't tone it down, it's going to shut down all of Boosie's hustle and his grind, at least his music grind, because the industry has barely been allowing him to stay afloat and be relevant and still get that bad. He ain't getting a big, big bag compared to a lot of other rappers, but they've been allowing him because they know that Boosie is still a toxic influence on the black community, which is what they want. They want someone to promote putting your pussy on live and I give you a thousand dollars type shit. They want Boosie to promote <coughs> drugs. Uh, calling women out their name. Talking down against black men and then, you know, the only time he's talking about black men is when he's talking about killing them. Or scamming them. So, Boosie has only been relevant Still to this day, only because he is a cancer to our black community, and they know that Boosie is willing to do whatever to keep his bad, keep his money flow. Even if we got to keep going on Vlad TV, dry snitching and, and saying stuff. It's funny how he is, he gets mad at uh, Ti, and he accuses Ti of being a snitch, and you know, no, nah, I'm for the streets, no, nah, no, nah, I ain't with that, I don't support that. But nigga, you snitching every day at on Vlad TV. Like, come on, bro. Now, who you think you're fooling, bro? You're snitching every time you're on Vlad TV. Whether you're dry snitching on yourself, unless you, uh, whether you're revealing stuff about what certain black people do in the hood that most typical people won't know that's not connected to the hood. You're telling all that stuff. You're telling all the secrets. You're telling all your stories, your secrets. I mean, you're not that smart, Mr. Boosie. 
and your son is taken after you. The fall, the, the the apple don't fall too far from the tree. So, like they say, the children usually is three times worse than the parents were when they were growing up. So, the fact that Boosie has not cleaned up his act, and now he has a son who he's okay with doing the stuff he does, you know. I mean, it's just gonna I'm, it's gonna be a, a tough situation for Boosie, and Boosie might have to use him as a sacrifice if Tootie Raw don't get his act together. And if Boosie really, I mean, if Boosie care about his life more than his son's life. He'll give up his son to, to keep himself elevated. Even though he got more than one kid, he can give up one or two. He can sacrifice a couple of them. He'll be all right. I don't condone the shit, but I just know how the industry works. Tootie Raw better be very careful. He better be very, very careful. Because that boy is too little, and his mind is too premature to be trying to be this hood nigga and try to act like he's for the streets and, 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 and he can handle street niggas, especially being incarcerated, caged like an animal. No, bro, I don't care who you know. Somebody gonna get to you, dog. You're too young. You're too little and you're too green, bro. You just, you're, you're a spoiled kid. T.I. and Boosie have the same situation with their, their two sons. Both of their sons, 2D Raw, and he was with him. The other son, King, them two are the karma seeds for Boozy and T.I. So, a part of their karma from nature, God, the universe, was those particular sons. T.I.'s karma is King, Boozy's karma is 2D Raw. And they're going to be a detriment to them in their career. For sure. Y'all going to watch it unfold. But I think T.I. didn't do enough disciplining over his sons. I think he was just too lax and chill and trying to just be too much too much of the peaceful make, peacemaker in the family. And he forgot that sometimes he got to pull the kids aside, rough them up a couple times, uh, get put some responsibilities on them and not wait, excuse me, not wait until things are getting out of hand and, and the wife is getting, uh, or the mother's getting frustrated. And then you want to say, Hey man, y'all, y'all going to help clean up the kitchen, man. Y'all take out this trash. What y'all doing, man? And the kid's looking at you like, nigga, since when you start telling us to, to clean up, nigga, well, since when was we doing that? That's how these kids react because these parents are over spoiling their children and you cannot over spoil a boy. Because boys don't mature faster than girls in the development stage. So it's best to get the boys while they're early. Structure them while they're early. While it's early and they're young. But uh, Boosie, same thing. He ain't teach that boy too. He raw no responsibilities. I think I saw a few videos where he would tell them to do something. But it seems like he's only telling the kids to do something when he's mad at them. When they don't do something that he expect them to do or whatever. But it should be regardless. Regardless of the situation. It should always be the, the discipline and the responsibilities and the structure should always be put in place. And it shouldn't be waiting until they get out of hand. But yeah, y'all y'all pray. Black folks love to pray. Y'all pray for 2D Raw. Okay? And King too, but especially 2D Raw. Because 2D Raw... Just the way he was reacting and acting and in the aftermath of his uh of him bailing out after getting I don't know, they said the charges is, is uh guns. I mean he had a gun and some drugs. In Texas. Okay, bruh. Be careful, Texas. They say don't mess with Texas. Texas don't play, bruh. Gotta be careful, dog. But Tootie Raw, somebody got to get Tootie Raw some help. He need a, uh, a real male mentor around him. Because Boosie ain't doing a good job. He's not doing a good job at all. And Boosie, 
he gonna eat his words because all this other stuff he's talking about T.I. being a snitch shit eventually your son Tootie Raw is gonna turn out to be a snitch cause he gonna be getting in too much legal problems too much legal trouble and then to keep himself free he gonna have to give up somebody so Boosie you better stand on what you said and you better fix this problem or it's gonna be your problem